Hello guys, welcome to uh, issue 44 of Build the Spitfire. Um, it's a little bit complicated this week. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I did struggle. Um, I think you can probably see it here. Um, there's a lot of fiddling around. There isn't anything complicated about it. Um, but really what you want to be doing is just taking your time. Take it one step at a time. Focus only on that stage. Um, and then there'll be two leftover parts to confuse you. Let's see how I got on. For those who fought in the Battle of Britain, it was a battle for survival. For the free world, it was a breathless moment in history. For failure would have plunged mankind into a new dark age. Never have so many owed so much to so few. So hello, uh, welcome to stage 44, Build a Spitfire Mark 1A. Uh, in this issue we're going to be doing the, well we're going to be fitting the landing light to the left wing. Um, so let's, as always, let's start with a parts check. Uh, so we have 44-1 is, uh, is this sprue. Now they do show us a particular orientation which is this way. Yeah, it's this way and let me get my cocktail stick to use as a pointy stick um, let me bring my light down it's giving quite bad light light bounce so we have parts A to E which is part A part B part C and that's one part not two that looks like two parts to cut in the middle but that's one part part D and part E and that looks like it's quite nicely arranged. Now I'm not going to cut this off the sprue until I need them because we don't know what we're doing with them um, and 44-2 unusually they're listing our screws before we before the rest of the parts and in this particular bag there are two types of screw so let's also mention then part 44 uh, 3 now I can't get these out of the bag so between part 44 2 and 44 3 we have uh, 3 PB 1.4 by 4 mil screws and 3 PB 2 by 4 millimeter screws so the difference between these two screws is no difference in the length but as you can see one is a little bit thinner than the other so we'll pop the fat screws the way that I lay my parts out I'll pop the fat ones on the right and the thin ones on the left like so and they're both PB screws which I believe are plastic screws um, and then that will give us part 44.4 which is our LED and cable and if I just remove this, it'll make it a little bit easier. So just like last week, we um, we have our LED on this end, and we have our connector on the other. And I was actually discussing with a friend the other day. Um, I actually tested this uh, on the last issue after I'd installed it, and he was going, "Well, no, I always test mine." as soon as I get it and to be honest with you he's not wrong so I'm going to test mine before we use it um, because what is the point of doing all that work on something that doesn't work and oh I was not expecting that to be red wow so it's obvious because it's good you know it's a landing light but um, obviously we have a, a white bulb there what looks like a white bulb and then when we turn it on it goes red so of course you know that's I think it's natural so I've tested that for you my good friend um, and I will obviously test it again when we finish and now my whole screen has just gone blue I don't know why that is there we go and then we will finish off with 
the part that always makes me giggle 44.5 the cable label there we go so I'm going to keep this just in case we need any gluing and the first thing that we need to do and this is quite a typical step one for us we need to take our cable and let's just get that nice and neat and somewhere near the base near the near to the connector we need to apply our cable label and I'm going to bring it about about a finger or a thumbnail distance up and I'm going to place that onto there and then we're going to fold that over like so doesn't need to be the neatest job in the world as long as it's not going to fall off and that's stage one complete okay so before we begin uh, before we go any further I want to heed a little warning at this stage I'm going to ask everybody to read through the whole instructions and then read through them again uh, some people just go straight into it I quite often do and we get away with it um, but there are um, about nine stages to complete they're quite intricate um, and they're all involving parts from different stages and it's going to be extremely easy to get muddled up so just make sure you know what you're doing get yourself a nice clear space and most importantly take your time okay so stage two we need to fit the flat side of the landing light assembly part 431a through the corresponding hole in the wing panel 31 one and then arrange it so that it fits flush with the outside of the wing panel the bar on part 431 a fits into a recess circled the landing light can tip up and down the insert right shows the part in place so what this part refers to is the part that we made last week and you can see there I've got one of my machine gun lights which is now going to be in the way and I did mask and tape this up just to try and keep it neat and tidy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this machine gun light over to here and I'm going to tape it down here because the last thing I'd want is for this to get in the way and I'm using masking tape so it doesn't fix permanently so this is the landing light that we made last week and we have I'm going to need a cocktail stick to do some pointy and my camera seems a little bit out of focus Let's bring this in nice and close we've got a little runner there with two notches and we've got a little notch there so let's there we go so let's bring the light up so that I can still work and the landing light is going to go in like this double checking as I go so you see that the shape of this is the same shape as that so I'm going to use the, the, the cable to hold on to and that's going to go in yeah I think we're going to thread it kind of through lift the wing up use it from underneath if you have to and I think no I thought that was in right so maybe I've done that wrong let's try it from threading this in through from underneath So bring this peg in through, that's not really working either, no, wow this is um, quite complex isn't it, so it's this, this part here, I might have to go away and think about this one all right 
maybe I need to be a bit firmer with it right that seems like it wants to go in I'm sure there's an easy way to do this but uh, ah there we go so you've got to be let me try and do that again it's it's a, it's quite a snug fit but what I think I've just done is I've come in and placed it down then I've kind of twisted it there we go and you need to start kind of push it too far down then get these pegs lined up and <coughs> I've got my finger underneath to support it just to show you but can you see that they're in there's a recess under there so I'm trying to find it there we go there's a recess under there I don't know if you can see it and a recess there and then once that's in you'll see that it rocks no problems I'll try and move this around to show you but I'm not advising to do this because there could be an accident but when it rocks you see that this light is coming out so whoops so I'm not advising to turn this upside down but that's to try and demonstrate how that goes in so uh, yeah that is stage two complete and that was was actually rather complicated and, and I my masking tape has just fallen off holding the other wire in so stage two take the rod grip part a from frame 44 one and this is the uh, the frame and part a is this piece here so what we'll do is we will get our side cutters and we will carefully cut this off and I'm so sorry that this is such close camera work right so I have noticed that there is it's slightly wider on one side can you see that it's kind of a funnel shape and that wants to be if you put if you think of that as an arrow it wants to be pointing away from the landing light and we need to check the fit of the holes in part a over the ray studs on the wing panel 31 1 which is there so where that little rod is there there's two pegs um, so that the rod on part 431 a is held in place when you are happy with the fit glue in place so that part 30 43 1 a is held in place so as always we will do a test fit and this is an extremely fiddly part so let's This is going to be extremely difficult to do. Ah, it's actually not that difficult. Right, so that I don't think is in place. And I think the reason that wasn't in place is because it somehow slipped the wrong way round. Right. Okay, so I'm struggling to hold this piece, guys. Um it really is tricky and I think that I'm struggling on this just with the with the test fit so what would it be like when I actually have the glue on because remember there's a small amount of urgency when we have the glue on but
yeah see when this when this raises you really need to hold this down and place that part on and there actually that's perfect so if you push down on the landing light it actually gives you a lot more space to work with so that's just made the job very easy so what I'm going to do and I, you won't be able to see this because the camera is so close to the model but I'm just getting um, or you can just see it there so I've got my scrap piece of plastic and I'm just going to uh, sorry I didn't mean to do that I'm just going to get a piece of, a little bit of glue on my scrap plastic and I'm going to get a cocktail stick and right so I'm going to push down on this landing light and I'm just going to put a few couple of small blobs on that peg but because this landing light is trying to move I'm going to keep my finger on it I'm not going to let go and I'm just putting a couple of blobs but I'm making sure I don't go anywhere near that peg and I put just the tiniest amount of of glue on because I don't want any squeeze out at all that could squeeze out onto the rod and then we'll place that on there like so and there we go that's gone in we'll just hold that down and there we go and I'm calling that a success because that has that's got full range of movement so I have not glued that to the pegs so that I'm rather happy with okay so stage four <coughs> we need to take part E from frame 4401 um, and fit it over the other end of the landing light assembly fix in place with two PB 2 by millimeter screws right the tightness of these screws adjust the stiffness of the landing light hinge so piece E this is our our framework that we had so let's just double check the parts list and we can see that a b c d e this is the piece that we want so we'll chop that off and so let's do a test fit as we always do um, so this is going to go um, I've lost my place in the magazine right so this is going to go and I can see that We've got the hole at the top and the bottom and we've got the little slit in there and the slit wants to go on the left. So doing a test fit. Ah, that's really straightened that up. So that's perfect. Uh, this is quite interesting because right, I can see how this is going to operate so I think at some stage in the future there'll be something in there that will push that down um, I've got nothing small enough that I can push that down with but yeah so I can't even get this back out now so I think what will happen is it will be like this and then there'll be something pushing like that so that's that I'm happy with that fit so that's going to go into there and as the magazine says we need two PB 2 by 4 millimeter screws so let me get those ready um, so I've got the two screws ready so we will lock one down that doesn't want to go in just as I said that it went in
okay so this is the this is the area that I have I really don't know um, it says that the, the, the how you, how much you adjust these screws adjust the tightness so I really don't know how tight to go I'm gonna be honest with you guys normally I can figure these things out um, but it's basically what it's saying is if we do this very tight this will be very difficult to move um, and we could find that the landing light could drop down into the down position when it's up when it should be up or it should stay in the up position when we want it in the day, down position um, so all I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to leave it like that you can see that there's free movement on there um, and then maybe we can adjust things at a later stage uh, when we come to it okay so stage five take the LED cable 44 4 now 44 4 is the cable from this issue um, yeah that's the cable from this issue uh, and position it on the wing so that the LED light will light up the optical fiber of the wing tip 43 3 uh, the cable runs along a channel in the wing panel um, this is the top result sorry so guide the cable through the notches in the wing panel 31 1 right so it is time to get confused yes no not time to get confused so this is the cable from last week uh, from this week and this needs to go onto the wing tip so let me just adjust my camera so there's the wing tip that we we placed in last week and that is going to slot into there and that actually is a really good fit so but I have been fiddling with it and I'm, I'm getting confused over the wires so I would like to just test that so quick quick test as I say I'm getting in the muddle and there's no shame in being in a muddle yeah I can see that, that is the red light so I think I've just pushed that in too far there we go away we'll with that <coughs> so this we've got two little notches there that will hold that LED in really nicely and then once it's through those first two notches a notch there and a notch there this is going to come across here and then it's going to fix into the notch there so try and keep this cable neat wherever possible and that's you know me I'm not the neatest worker ever I try to be neat there we go that's gone into that notch quite nicely and then this one can go into that one there so we've got two notches there and my camera has just gone right out of focus so what we have there is notch 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 now you will be placing the wire in that way um, so which way round I really don't know but it would appear to me that the the wire is placed with a with a red wire up um, will it make a difference I really do not know at this stage um, but it might well be by the time this is plugged into the circuit board the difference between that way and that way might make a difference um, but that is stage four complete so stage six tells us to take the landing light LED cable 43 4 
<coughs> and arrange it in the notches in the wing frame 23 1 circled ease the cable under the loop in the wing frame arrow note that the landing gear is tipped downwards so what we're going to be doing is taking um, this cable the landing light cable remembering that we've just put in this cable which I've just accidentally taken out so this is going to go into two notches there let me just move my camera so that will go through there there and then another one there and then there's a loop there that you can just tuck the wire let me just yeah if you give yourself lots of slack actually work from this way you could just slip that under carefully and then gently pull it taut and then it will then go out through there no problems so on to stage seven take the machine gun led cable 44 that's 4004 and the wingtip led cable 444 and fit them through the gate formed by two raised screw sockets on the left wing so the gate that they refer to is this one here and what we're going to be doing is taking this this is the machine gun cable this is labeled L2 and that's going to go through there and it actually can go sideways uh, sorry upright and then we're going to be taking the wingtip LED and that's also going to go through that same gate just like that okay stage eight we need to take part c from the frame 44 1 and fit it over the top of the gate to hold the cables in place fix in place with two pb 1.4 times four millimeter screws so this is part c here on the sprue and what we're going to be doing is just slip that off with the uh, side cutters if you feel necessary just file that little bit down and then what we're going to be doing is moving these just tucking them out of the way where these these wires have come through there we'll just place this through obviously we want to be careful not to uh, nip these wires in too much and make sure there's plenty of clearance and I'm actually going to just change the wiring slightly I am going to lay that on its side I think that would fit just a little bit more comfortable and then that can go over like that now I put my screws into my little screw pot so what I will do is I'll just tip two of those out onto the onto the table uh, sorry that you can't see that we'll then load my screwdriver up and obviously once we've got the first screw in this hole will become a lot lot easier there we go that's the first one partially in and then I'm only putting these in just enough to bite and there's a a better than normal reason for doing this so now that that is in just enough to bite we can just check our cables are, are quite comfortable there and then we can finish screwing this up um, what I want to be careful of is that I don't nip those wires and there's an awful lot of turns on this before it's fully tightened many many screws right so um, I would suggest that that doesn't have to be really really tight it just we need to be this this plastic part needs to be down and these wires need to be held in place and if you see there is there is movement there when I when I pull it backwards and forwards and that indicates to me that those wires haven't been nipped so on to stage 9 fit the cables 44 4 and 4004 through the notches in the wing frame 23 1 circled 
next to the landing light cable then slip the cables under the loop in the wing frame so exactly the same as this that landing light we can take these one at a time we can pop that into there through the three notches and again I would consider just lifting this bit up let's do the the notch first you see this notch there and we'll just form a little loop and we'll just tuck that in there and then we can just pull that taut and then the same with this one just straighten this wire out form a little loop like so just hook that under the notch there and then pull that taut and I would say that's a good job and um, that will leave us these cables here um, but that is actually the job done I think that's nice and neat and tidy that's a good job these aren't going anywhere and these all still work so I, f I feel step 10 and possibly 11 is a little bit confusing it says you can test the movement of the landing light gear which is operated manually the flap should be operated from below do not turn the model over as this may damage parts push on the rear edge of the flat side of the landing gear assembly 4301A to open and then step 11 says pressing the front edge of the landing gear light assembly 4301A closes the light so showing the, 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 the actual image it suggests that this is being turned upside down but it also states do not turn it upside down um, so all we can really do is just pop our finger underneath and test it from below and as you can see mine works absolutely fine now I'm going to take a big gamble for the benefit of the stream and I can't see the harm if you handle it properly I'm going to turn this upside down so we can view this from below and as you can see that operates fine so landing light down and landing light up so to finish this off what I would like to do because we've been playing with these wires again I would like to test each one individually using my uh, light box and that's three wires that I'm going to test so let's uh, switch the lights out just to help us a little bit then let's adjust the camera so we can get everything in so let's first of all test L4 so L4 that looks like do you know I don't know I can't remember so there we go that's the landing light that we did last week so that still works fine then we have L2 and L2 I think is the machine guns yeah so that's my machine gun lights working the reason I thought it was L2 is because I still have this masking tape from where I taped the wires down before so we'll just remove that and I'll use that again in a bit later and that leaves us with L3 which should be the wingtip light so let me just move the camera I can't get this in mainly because I've got no grip on my finger because I've got masking tape attached right so there is the landing tip light it's very hard to see on camera but you can see that it works um, so there we go guys I am very happy with that um, <coughs> so it's um, it was quite complex um, it wasn't difficult it was just so much going on um, but as usual I just took my time and I just took it gently and uh, everything worked out um, so the next two issues well the next issue is going to be uh, parts for the right landing light an optical light and a wing tip plus an LED cable and cable label which sounds suspiciously similar to issue 43 um, so I can only conclude from that 
um, the next two issues are going to be the same but on the other side um, and I have also noticed that uh, ah here we go I noticed that it was two two leftover parts so it says due to a last minute modification to the operation of the landing gear light parts B and D on frame 44 1 are not needed so that's part B and that's part D so the you can do what you like with these you can burn them eat them no don't eat them throw them in the trash whatever um, so I hope you've enjoyed this I certainly have and um, what I'm actually going to be doing next is I'm just going to bunch my wires together a little bit um, and I'm going to put a very loose piece of masking tape on these and that will hopefully just keep all my wires tidy and I think I'm going to bring them back and just tape them to the landing gear it would help if I actually had the tape um, so using too much you know me guys with my masking tape I use too much rather than too little so what I'll do is I'll just bunch these so they don't get in the way um, bit of tape and there uh, and then on to there just to keep them a little bit tidy um, so I hope you to catch you in the next issue issue 45 when we will be working on the right side of the wing thanks for watching guys